Raise your hand if you would like to get the most out of your rest day. We're talking recovery, people. Let's get into it. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you wouldn't mind, if you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down there and make sure that you hit the bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my new videos. So like I said, today we're talking recovery. And I'm not talking about that time that you told your crush that you like her because she reminds you of her mom, but then totally saved it with a classic, <laughs> just kidding. No, we're not talking that kind of recovery. We're talking about recovering from our workouts. Every time, every time you work out is just creating another opportunity to recover. We need to recover all the sweat we lose. We need to recover all the energy we use. We need to recover all the muscle fibers that we tear. And how do you do that? There's two ways, active recovery and passive recovery. Passive recovery includes things like nutrition. Is your meal prep dialed in? Are you hitting your macros? Are you getting enough calories in for the day? Or sleep, are you getting six to eight uninterrupted hours? Are you waking up feeling rested each day? These things are all called passive recovery because they don't include any kind of exercise. Active recovery is the idea of lightly moving your sore and tired muscles in order to help stimulate that really efficient recovery process within your muscles. So I'm going to use a little help from my friends to give you five ideas on what you could use as your active recovery. John, hit them with the first idea. Thanks, John. That's right. I got a good idea for you for your active recovery. Get outside, mow that lawn. Yard work is great. You're not doing too much high impact or high intensity exercise, but you're still working those muscles that you just tore up in the gym. It's a great way to stimulate that recovery, great way to break a sweat, and a great way to make your yard look great for your neighbors. Plus, while you're outside breaking a sweat, you also get a healthy dose of vitamin D. That's right, Do you know that vitamin D can help reduce your depression assist in that weight loss goal you've been trying to get since January, and also fight off diseases, it boosts your immune system. Now, if those aren't three good reasons to get outside and start working in the yard, I don't know what is. Hey, let's send it back to John and uh, find out some more ideas that you could do for your active recovery. Later. It's just that easy. Yard work? Yard work could literally be active recovery. Get outside, pull some weeds, mow the lawn. All right, let's go to John with tip number two. John? Hey, thanks, John. Yeah, another thing that you could do is just simply go for a walk. I love to do these for cool downs, uh, especially taking my dog for a really long walk so that I get my recovery in and she gets a great walk. You should definitely add in walks so that you know that your recovery game is on point and that you are gonna be ready to hit those weights next time you get in the gym. Hey, that's all I got. Make sure you get your walks in. Catch the next tip. What a simple idea. Go for a walk? Walk the dog? Who knew that could be recovery to help you get back in the gym? Let's go out to uh, tip number three to see what John has to say. A new point of view. What better for active recovery than a light bike ride, right? I love nothing more than taking my rest day out on the trail, hopping on the bike and just cruising. There's nothing about going fast. There's nothing about racing. It's just a great time to get out, break a sweat, and have a good time. I like to aim for getting at least 30 minutes of active recovery anytime I do it. Use Google Maps, find a trail near your house, check it out, or just like this, go around your neighborhood. I'm sure there's some great rides that you haven't even gotten to do yet that you should go check out. It's great, it's great light exercise. You just turn the resistance down on your bike and uh, have a good time. Hey, I'll send it back to you for the next tips. Thanks, John. Ooh, zoom. Man, hopping on the bike, hitting the trail, wind in your hair, man, that sounds like a good idea. Saving the best for last, let's go to my favorite reporter, John. John, what's the final tip? Thanks, John. Do some yoga. Long stretches, holding positions. There's a million yoga classes, essentially, on YouTube for free. One of the ones that recommended to me was Yoga with Adrian. Super popular, everything from beginner to advanced, but for athletes, there's apps like Romwad, or if you wanna get something a little bit more personalized, the GoWad Mobility app will test your personal mobility and tell you what you need to do. Again, it's a paid app, not sponsored, uh, but it's definitely worth checking out. 
add some yoga into your recovery training. It's definitely gonna make you feel better. It's gonna improve your mobility. And all in all, it's a very low intensity practice that you can add into your routine on your rest day. So that's all I got for you. Send it back to John for the wrap up. Thanks for listening. So guys, that's it. Get outside, do some yard work, go for a walk, ride your bike, hit some yoga. Those four things alone will get you really far in your recovery game. Not only will they help with your mobility, but all in all, it'll help you feel fresh and rejuvenated the next time you go into the gym trying to squat heavy or PR your friend time, whatever it is. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. I hope you guys try them out. If you do, leave it in the comments, put a thumbs up on this video, and uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my new videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs> I can't reach, it's too far away. <laughs> Later. <laughs> I've got four activities that everybody can do that is great for active, retu active retu recovery. Recovery? Really? Recovery? Oh my gosh. <laughs> do you know that getting a healthy dose of vitamin D can help boost your immune system? Immune, immune, immune system, immune system. Should I, should I do happy baby in the for the camera, dear? No, don't do that. Do it like this. No. Do it like this. No. Like this. No. Like this. No. Like this. No. Like this. No.